Now it happened in the 480th year after the sons of Israel came out of the land of Egypt, in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel, in the month of Ziv, which is the second month, that he began to build the house of Yahweh. As for the house which King Solomon built for Yahweh, its length was sixty cubits, and its width, twenty cubits, and its height, thirty cubits. And the porch in front of the nave of the house was twenty cubits in length, corresponding to the width of the house, and its depth along the front of the house was ten cubits. Also for the house he made windows with artistic frames. And he built, against the wall of the house, stories encompassing the walls of the house around both the nave and the inner sanctuary, thus he made side chambers all around. The lowest story was five cubits wide, and the middle was six cubits wide, and the third was seven cubits wide, for on the outside he made offsets in the wall of the house all around in order that the beams would not be inserted in the walls of the house. The house, while it was being built, was built of stone prepared at the quarry, and there was neither hammer, nor axe, nor any iron tool heard in the house while it was being built. The doorway for the lowest side chamber was on the right side of the house, and they would go up by winding stairs to the middle story, and from the middle to the third. So he built the house and completed it, and he paneled the house with beams and planks of cedar. He also built the stories against the whole house, each five cubits high, and they were fastened to the house with timbers of cedar. And the word of Yahweh came to Solomon, saying, Concerning this house which you are building, if you will walk in my statutes and do my judgments and keep all my commandments by walking in them, then I will establish my word with you which I spoke to David your father. And I will dwell among the sons of Israel, and will not forsake my people Israel. So Solomon built the house and completed it. Then he built the walls of the house on the inside with boards of cedar, from the floor of the house to the ceiling he overlaid the walls on the inside with wood, and he overlaid the floor of the house with boards of cypress. And he built twenty cubits on the rear part of the house with boards of cedar from the floor to the ceiling. He built them for it on the inside as an inner sanctuary, as the holy of holies. And the house, that is, the nave in front of the inner sanctuary, was forty cubits long. And there was cedar on the house within, carved in the shape of gourds and open flowers, all was cedar, there was no stone seen. Then he prepared an inner sanctuary within the house in order to place there the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh. Now the inner sanctuary was twenty cubits in length, twenty cubits in width, and twenty cubits in height, and he overlaid it with pure gold. He also overlaid the altar with cedar. So Solomon overlaid the inside of the house with pure gold. And he drew chains of gold across the front of the inner sanctuary, and he overlaid it with gold. So he overlaid the whole house with gold, until all the house was finished. Also the whole altar which was by the inner sanctuary he overlaid with gold. Also in the inner sanctuary he made two cherubim of olive wood, each ten cubits high. And five cubits was the one wing of the cherub, and five cubits the other wing of the cherub. From the end of one wing to the end of the other wing were ten cubits. The other cherub was also ten cubits, both the cherubim were of the same measure and the same form. The height of the one cherub was ten cubits, and so was the other cherub. And he put the cherubim in the midst of the inner house, and the wings of the cherubim were spread out, so that the wing of the one was touching the one wall, and the wing of the other cherub was touching the other wall. And their wings were touching each other in the center of the house. He also overlaid the cherubim with gold. Then he carved all the walls of the house round about with carved engravings of cherubim, palm trees, and open flowers from within the inner and outer sanctuaries. And he overlaid the floor of the house with gold in the inner and outer sanctuaries. For the entrance of the inner sanctuary he made doors of olive wood, the lintel, and five-sided doorposts. So he made two doors of olive wood, and he carved on them carvings of cherubim, palm trees, and open flowers, and overlaid them with gold, and he spread the gold on the cherubim and on the palm trees. So also he made for the entrance of the nave four-sided doorposts of olive wood and two doors of cypress wood, the two leaves of the one door turned on pivots, and the two leaves of the other door turned on pivots. And he carved on it cherubim, palm trees, and open flowers, and he overlaid them with gold evenly applied on the engraved work. And he built the inner court with three rows of cut stone and a row of cedar beams. In the fourth year, the foundation of the house of Yahweh was laid in the month of Ziv. 
Now in the eleventh year, in the month of Bull, which is the eighth month, the house was completed throughout all its parts and according to all its plans. So he built it in seven years.